there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you thought about what you would like to be when you're grown up? Hmm, some are asking, what new kinds of jobs will there be in the future? Well, Louis' amazing job will be to make the clouds rain for the farmers. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if you'd like Louis' job or if there's a new job you might like more. New Jobs Full of Wonder by Al Faso. A weather rainmaker. Like Louise, you could launch amazing micro-rockets into the clouds, which cause rain to fall back on the earth. This will make the farmers very happy because rain is needed for the crops to do well so that there can be a large harvest. Would you also want to make it rain? How about a driverless car traffic controller? Elliot can decide where all the cars, taxis, and trucks move to make sure there are no accidents. Do you think it would be cool to control the cars on the roads? Or maybe you could be an urban farmer specialized in aquaponics. Maya and Eden grow fruit and vegetables using large fish tanks. The water has nutrients for the plants, and the fish feed on the roots of the plants. Would you enjoy growing plants and raising fish to sell? Why not be a chef cooking insects? Charlotte cooks delicious scorpion burgers. She also prepares tasty cricket soups. Could you imagine even crazier recipes? Or would you rather be a firefighter drone pilot? Ronnie pilots magnificent firefighting drones and saves human and animal lives. And you, would you have the skills to do this job? You are lucky to have so many jobs to choose from. Maybe you should be a deep water data diver. Jack dives into the ocean to repair large boxes filled with information called data. He uses special tools to make sure that people receive internet service at the speed of a rocket. Would you like to have marvelous underwater adventures? Or do you want to be a digital privacy detective? Mata searches and deletes personal information that people don't want to have on the internet. She helps people become invisible on the web. Would you love to protect other people's secrets? Or do you wish to catch bad guys as a cyber cop? Paul fights against the attacks of the pirates on the internet. He protects other people's computers by blocking viruses and stopping scamming attacks. Would you like to protect the internet for everyone on the planet? How about a crowdfunding specialist? Angel helps others to make their dreams come true. He collects money from internet users around the world. This is possible thanks to his creativity and his great communication skills. Would you love to help people to share their great ideas with the rest of the world? If you love drawing and making things, then you could choose to become an upcycling designer. Lola transforms waste materials into new products. As if by magic, 
she changes toothbrushes and other used plastic objects into jewelry. And she turns cardboard boxes into furniture. And you, could you imagine other surprising things? Or you could be a 3D designer. Donna draws and creates awesome objects straight out of her imagination. Thanks to her computer and a fantastic printer, she can produce everything in three dimensions, 3D. This means that she can make toys, vases, shoes, whatever she wants with her incredible printer. Would you like to use your creativity to produce new things? Or maybe a big data scientist. Big data, these are all the numbers, words, photos, and videos called data, which circulate the world. The amount of data on the web is enormous and keeps growing non-stop. Stephen knows how to understand all this data and can solve problems even before they appear. Abracadabra, he can tell you where to place a wind turbine so it catches the most wind. Would you enjoy giving meaning to data just as Stephen does? You could become a good robotics engineer like Leo. Robots are made to do things that are too boring or too dangerous for humans. Leo, the master of the robots, knows how to write instructions in robot language. In this way, he can tell the robots to efficiently do the work that humans want them to do. Would you enjoy being such a great guide? Or why not become a guardian of space safety? Neil removes the remnants of old rockets and old satellites sent by humans into space. Then he places them in a space dump to avoid any accidents. Do you look forward to making outer space less dangerous? How about a virtual presentation coach? Anna teaches others how to bring out the best of themselves when presenting. She advises them how to smile at the camera and speak clearly. And you, would you like to help others give the best version of themselves? Or do you wish to be a rewilder? Tom is an agricultural scientist who repairs the damage done to Earth by people, factories, and cars. Would you also cherish taking care of the Earth? Or, like Nina, be a nano-scientist. Nina takes tiny pieces of matter, breaks them up, and puts them back together in amazing ways. These smart materials such as super strong and foldable plastics, can even be used to make cars. Would you be interested in creating new materials? Or do you wish to be a telesurgeon? Charlie carefully uses an incredible robot scalpel, which can be used to operate on human beings or animals from very far away. Would you be happy to offer medical care from the other end of the world? You might be an avatar specialist as James. Avatars are virtual characters which exist only on the internet. James, who is responsible for the avatars, decides on their shape, their actions, and their extraordinary adventures. Does bringing these wonderful characters to life appeal to you? Maybe you should be a researcher in bio-inspiration. Mary makes use of great ideas taken from nature to help her solve problems. For example, she might experiment with snail slime to make a new 
odorless kind of glue. And you, would you have the patience to observe animals and plants? Bear's wondering, have you heard of any of these jobs? Lots of no's, Bear, because most of these jobs won't be possible till they're grown up. Well, Bear says he would like to launch rockets into the clouds to make rain for farmers. But he does not think he'd be very good at cooking cricket soup. <laughs> Bear also hopes you think about all you might do someday and that you come back soon for more adventures in possibilities. Bye for now. Please subscribe.